before we get started on the video, I'd also like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons because I wouldn't be able to keep making these videos if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much for all your support. I'd also like to say thanks to Richter, for his tier 4 sub this month, and special thanks to James Bond, for his tier 5 sub this month. In this video, we are going to make sure that we can kill our dragon by hitting it with the sword. And to do that, we need to add a collider to the sword. So let's do that by opening up the player and the rig. Finding the torso and then the right shoulder, right arm, right hand, and then go to the sword. And basically we just need to go here, enable the sword, and then we need to add a collider to it. So we're going to select the sword, click add component and write collider. And then we need to find an edge collider 2D. And we're going to select the edit collider here and place the collider in the top and the bottom. And then take and make the collider fit the blade of the sword kind of like this go and then drag it all the way down here and there we go so you just need to try to make it fit around the 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 swords blade here and there we go so this shouldn't be enabled from the get-go so let's just remove that and then disable the sword again and then we need to make sure that the sword is at the hit layer. So we select the sword, go to the layer and select hit. And only change for the sword object itself. We don't need to change the swipe. So the sword is on the hit layer. And now we need to enable it. How do you do that? We select the rig. We go to animation. And we select our body uh, sword attack. You can see when we do that, he attacks with the sword. So if we go all the way to 25, where his hands right there, if we enable the sword, you can see that it's starting to attack or starting to hit something. Right here, we're going to click record. We're going to enable the edge collider on the sword. And then we're going to go all the way down here to about yeah, here. What's that? That's 31 or something with those two. Where are we? What are we doing here? We are setting the swipe. We're removing the swipe. When we remove the swipe, we're also going to remove the sword collider. We can click there. And then we stop recording. So if we enable the sword and run through the animation, you'll see that when we hit here, the collider is enabled. And we go over here, it disables the collider again. So that's what we have. We have enabling the collider and disabling it again. So that's actually what we needed to do to the animation. So we can just hide the sword again by disabling it. And now we need to make a new script. So let's go to our scripts and right click and create a new script called sword. And this is actually going to do the same thing as the projectile. We could just make some kind of the same, but let's just open up the sword collide because there are some things in the projectile we're not going to use in the sword, of course. When your script is open, you can delete, start, and update. We are going to make it private void, untrigger enter 2D. And we're going to I hitable hit equals collision dot get component in parent I hitable. And that's it. And then we say, well, if our hit isn't null, then we say hit dot take hit. So this is the same as we do in our uh, projectile. So basically, this is going to be sitting on the sword. When the sword hits something, it's going to react to this and and yeah, use the hit thing so that it kills the enemy. To make this work, we will have to make sure that the edge collider is a trigger. So make sure its trigger is set. Then we're going to add a, a rigid body, 2D, of course. And we're going to make sure that the rigid body is set to kinematic. And then we are going to have a, a check mark in simulator. And when we've done that, we need to add the sword script. And that's it. So now we have a sprite renderer, edge collider, a rigid body, and a sword collider. Uh, oh, so, sorry, a sword script so that we can register our hits. And make sure that the sword layer is set to hit if you haven't done that. Okay. And make sure it's only the sword. You don't need to change the swipe. Let's try to run this and see what happens. I'm just going to go over here and pick up my sword. And then I'll go to the enemy and I should be able to attack it. Go 
and there it dies. So now you can see we can actually attack our enemy with a melee weapon. Of course, we'll also have to be able to do that with our fists, but I think I'll go, go, I'm going to save that for the next video because then we can also make sure that we can jump on top of, of the enemy. So there we have it. We can kill our enemy with our sword and with our gun. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.